more stuff to do tonight, uh, among which stupid Petrix, Mr. James Brown will be here. Uh, a visit, a chat, a rare insights to Larry Bud Melman will be uh, coming up. <laughs> also, more from Army Archer, the voice of Hollywood and the friend of the stars, and a good friend of ours, Paul Schaefer, ladies and gentlemen. Paul, have a seat, if you will. Thank you. Uh, I didn't mean to interrupt, but... Oh, you're not interrupting. Oh, well, thank you. I just came over to kind of embarrass... That's a fine shirt, by the way. Thank you so much. Have you seen the scallops, by the way, and the fact that you can really unbutton... What was the name of the man who invented this? This is the Maury Geyer yeah. scallop shirt. Uh -huh. He did a... some work on the linear accelerator also, didn't he? And then <laughs> went on to scalloping shirts. I didn't know about that. <laughs> but I'm here for some very important business. You know, <laughs> with all the marvelous stars and the wild, nutty animals that you have on this show, it's easy to forget this fella sitting right here. Uh -huh. What I'm saying is without this guy, the show would be called Late Night With. You know what I mean? Am I right? Not a bad idea. Am I right? Anyway, in honor of this cat right here, I have put together a kind of a little clip thing, and when you see it, I think you'll know why the industry calls this man right here a marvelous, marvelous kind of individual. <laughs> Dave, this one is for you. This one is for you. Uh, interesting article in today's Wall Street Journal. Profiling the chairman of the board of America's top 25 industries. And some fascinating information. For example, out of that 25, only two of these gentlemen are Elvis impression impersonators. <laughs> I had, I had something I wanted to tell you, I think. Have I covered everything? I just got here, didn't I? I'm supposed to be over there, aren't I? Oh, my. Hey, nice working with you, really. Oh, I see how this is supposed to work. What's the matter with you? Well, I, no, nothing's the matter with me. Uh, well, maybe there is, but I don't think we have the... We, we, of course, we may, you know, it's quite possible. Do you want me to ask you a few questions? No. We give it also a thumbs up based on, uh, oh, this is down. Right. I'm sorry, a thumbs down based on Roger's no, jeans. jeans. <laughs> this is the bag obees. Over 600 mixed bumble and honeybees in a sting-proof sack. This for you here. Let me get this for you here. Let me... Did I show you the bacteria bags? The dancer uh, is Adora Duncan. This is a pop-up oh, book of her life story. Just open this. Yeah, okay. No, wait a minute. I didn't. I didn't. It. it uh, wait a minute. Let me pretend you didn't see that. The bag obese. All right. Apparently, the bag obese are sleeping a little late tonight. Let's move on to the next item while we try and correct that problem. Okay. Here is the edible stationery. Could be a two-parter, folks. <laughs> the bag obese. <laughs> Apparently, this is not the kind of thing designed to be shown on American TVs. Yeah, it's it, uh, uh, but it's good that it doesn't, doesn't bother you that people are uh, including your name. I mean, it's a very uh, it's a, you know. Yeah. All day long, I thought, well, tonight I got one that'll work, and then my, my mouth exploded. What kind of jobs were you, were you uh, like secretarial work, I'm guessing, is out. That's, a, that's a, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just a joke. I'm just, yeah. Yeah. Now you See, have... that's why I'm squeezing this ball. Said, so in case he get to telling them corny jokes, I'm going to squeeze this ball. If I squeeze the ball too many times, if, I, if you see me squeeze the ball over 10 times, that means cut jokes. I don't squeeze about six times already. Oh, sure. Six. six. The pop-up big version makes certain scenes even more memorable. Oh, darn it. See, it's, it's doing this uh, I have no control over. It's got a mind of its own, for heaven's sakes. It can't be stopped. Run for your lives. Nutty Marvelous. Isn't he something? Isn't he something? Dave, you're fabulous. I gotta get out of here. Over there. I'm starting to believe my own shirt. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> oh, Schaefer is starting to believe his own shirt, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Paul. You know, um, 
Uh, since this program first went on the air way back in the late 50s, occasionally we've been bringing you stupid pet tricks. Tonight we would like to recreate some magic moments from the past year's assortment thereof. Ladies and gentlemen, our first pet trick participant tonight, Sherry Gross and her and a rabbit thumper. <laughs> Sherry and thumper, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Sherry, how are you? Nice to, nice to see you again. And this, of course, is the original thumper. And uh, for those of us who may not remember what thumper will do, what will thumper do? She'll play dead and then ride a skateboard. Thumper will play dead and ride a skateboard. Okay, uh, anything, uh, are there any drugs involved with this? No. Okay, uh, what do you need to do, Sherry? Just sit down. Oh, you want me to sit down? Oh, you sit no. down, okay. Sherry and Thumper, ladies and gentlemen. God, she's strangling that rabbit! <laughs> Kidding. Aww. Oh. <laughs> now, what exactly does that do? Just sort of relax the uh, Thumper? Yeah, just, just pet her stomach. Uh-huh. Yeah, she's... Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Okay, so that was, that was Thumper playing dead. And also now, part two. She'll ride the skateboard. Of this amazing exhibition. All right, she'll be riding the skateboard. Thumper on the skateboard. Whoa! <laughs> is, he, is he coming back? Whoa! Thank you very much, Sherry. Nice to see you again. Thank you very much. Sherry Gross and Thumper the Rabbit. Uh, Diane Cassover and her dog Tango, ladies and gentlemen. Diane. Hi, Diane. How are you? Nice to see you again, Diane. And uh, this is your dog Tango. And uh, you were on uh, last February, yes. a year ago, sure. Now, what will the tango do for us? Last year, he played one note on the piano. Now, this year, in honor of your first anniversary, he's going to play two notes. Well, you've had your hands <laughs> full then, haven't you, the last, the last year. All right, uh, Diane, go right ahead. And uh, this will be tango, two notes on the piano, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, I don't think they heard it. Do it again, tango. A little louder. Wow, this is getting more and more spectacular. That's amazing, Diane, and I guess next year we can look forward to, what do you think, three? Well, um, you can jump over my leg. Oh, she's going to jump? Oh, now that's impressive also. Come on, one more time. Oh, I missed my leg. Yeah, that's very nice. Thank you very much, Diane. Diane and Tango, nice to see you again. Diane and Tango. Uh, Carolyn Baker and her dog, Rocky, ladies and gentlemen. Carolyn Baker and Rocky. <laughs> Hi, Carolyn. How are you? Hi, how are you? Pleasure to see you again. Yes, sir. It's Rocky, Rocky all right, is it? Yes, Rocky has a present for you. Whoa! Rocky, drop it. Drop, drop it. it. He makes Thank that... You. He's just kidding, though, with that... Happy that. anniversary. Oh, oh, nothing I like better than a little dog saliva. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very... Thank you, Rocky. Rocky, come so I'll here. Just put, also has I'll a just message. put this over here. <laughs> Rocky's kind of a high-spirited dog, isn't he? Yeah, a little bit. He's, he's a, a message to you. He's as his eye. That's very sweet. He's got his T-shirt on there. Uh, dogs love wearing T-shirts, don't they? <laughs> How you doing, Rocky? Okay, now, what will Rocky do for us again, Carolyn? Rocky's going to jump for his ring, <laughs> pull on it, and then he's going to swing from it. Oh, he's going to swing from the yeah. ring. As I recall, this is spectacular, isn't it? <laughs> Well, it takes a lot of space. To... Yeah. Look at if this you... guy. Rocky? Carolyn, thank, thank you. you very much. Rocky, Whoa, Rocky. Rocky and Carolyn. Are you ready? Rock! Rocky, <laughs> come here! Rocky! Let's go! Jump! Oh, you can do that. Come on, Rocky, jump! One more come time, on, Rocky. Rocky. Come on, jump in! One, two, three! All right! Jesus, that's very nice. Okay, uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Rocky and uh, Carolyn Baker. Thank you, uh, Carolyn. Nice to see you and Rocky again. Okay.
And next we have uh, Mary Casian and her dog, uh, Brother Benjamin, ladies and gentlemen. Mary Casian. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Nice to see you. <laughs> your son, Mary. Uh, now, uh, in addition to that, uh, Benjamin will, I guess, go up the stairs? Yes. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Nice to see you again, Mary. Thank you for bringing your dog, Brother Benjamin, again. Bye-bye. Benjamin. Benjamin. Okay. Thank you very much. Brother Benji. Ah, uh, there again through the miracle of instant replay. Now, do, do we have time to bring... Uh, okay, we'll try and get to that perhaps later in the show or maybe next year. A lot more stars are arriving. And now from the burger joint, a man who has made burgers for Donnie Most and Eric Estrada, Mr. Big Nick Imiriabes. Good to see you. And from the cheerful cleaners, it's Bernie Lazar, the cheerful cleaner. Oh, of course, these two men who frequently serve Chinese food to Alan Alda. We'd like to say hello first from the Hunan Park and the Hunan Balcony. Can we say hello to you both, David? And Paul? I'm Paul. You're Paul. You're David. Now, you know, we understand that uh, Alan Alda has been a lot. Has he been in to see you lately? Yes, last year, December. Last year in December. And is he still eating that same uh, string bean and noodle? Yes. Yes, the same. Has, he's not in anything new these days, is he? Yes. He is. Okay, well, thanks again for being here. And now, let's see who's arriving now. Oh, of course, the man who has done auto body work for Cliff Gorman, Ava Gabor, and Jack Carter, Mr. Frank Dianello. Frank, don't go away, don't go away. We understand that you met Connie Stevens. Would you like to tell us how that came about? Well, my wife and I were traveling across the country into Mexico with my family and children in the car, and we stopped off at the Flamingo Hotel in Las Vegas, and we saw Connie Stevens and we requested an audience with her. And she was gracious enough to give it to us. Well, we're glad we have an audience with you tonight. And now, back to you, David. Thank you very much. Uh, one of the most memorable highlights of the past year on this program was the first appearance of my next guest. He showed that uh, night, uh, he, show, he showed that night why people say he has the greatest live act in show business. Welcome, please, ladies and gentlemen. James Brown. Uh, uh, you ever get hurt when you're performing? Yes. Yeah? I was in Akron, Ohio, and I jumped off the stage there, and, uh, and um, I had to kind of judge where I was going to land, I thought, you know. Uh -huh. but I guess it kind of wind up like the satellite. I kept landing in different pieces, you know. Yeah. <laughs> My leg went one way, and the other leg went the other place, and I, I stayed there for about five or ten minutes. And, Fellas rushed me back up, you know, and I had to smile, but uh, <laughs> I was in pain. David, I would like to say something now. Sure. The last time I was here, I had a lot of work done on my mouth, dentist-wise, and I... Not was... on the show, though. The people <laughs> misunderstand it. Before I got here, right, uh -huh. I was in a lot of pain. Really? And I, I couldn't believe the inspiration and the, and the motivation from the audience, you know. Oh, yeah, that was a great that, night. Uh, it was a fantastic yeah. show. Well, you were terrific. That's why they were well, terrific. I just, I just kind of got in. You know. Uh, now, you, you played some sports, uh, didn't you? Some yes. semi-pro ball? Yes. Uh, I, baseball. Yeah. Yes. And um, I fought. You fought? Uh, yes, yes. Now, did, do you think you had a chance at going on to uh, high minors, as they say, or maybe Major League Baseball? Baseball, I could have made it easy. Boxing, I was kind of in there already, but um, the fella got into me a little heavier than I expected, you know? Yeah, yeah. And once I really got uh, the whoop of what could really happen, I said, I think I better sing. Yeah. Uh, now, tell me about your baseball days. Where did those begin? Uh, that was in Georgia, and um, 